Hi, in this series of videos I'm going to show how to create custom web-based QuickBooks reports. Um, oftentimes people that use QuickBooks can't get the reports that they want. Um, for whatever reason they just can't build the report within QuickBooks. So there becomes the need to take data from QuickBooks and then build a custom report outside of QuickBooks and, and potentially make that web-based. So the key here with doing custom QuickBooks uh, reports is to get the data out of the QuickBooks flat file into a database. Once it's in a database, then you can use a variety of reporting tools to um, build your custom reports. That could be Excel, it could be reporting services, Tableau, BERT, Crystal, um, whatever. Um, but once it's in a database, then it's easy to report upon. Now there are a variety of third-party tools that um, allow you to connect to QuickBooks and then they pull it into a database. And um, I mean, I've had some success with some of those tools, um, but a lot of times uh, they they just sometimes won't work for whatever reason um, because interfacing with the QuickBooks file it just it, it isn't as simple as one would think. So in this series of videos, I'm going to um, show the steps to create your own custom report out of QuickBooks. Um, so first, um, you want to go to a report um, that has the data that you need and then uh, customize that report. Um, this is a transaction report. So this you can see this has um, the type, the date, um, the sales order number, the client, the item, the item description, the account, um, the quantity and the amount. Um, now there's a ton of reports that you can um, produce from this data um, and if you needed to add more data you would just go in and customize the report and um, add the uh, the data you need. Um, and so what you want to do here is the idea is that you're going to export this to a CSV file um, that can be quickly imported into a SQL database um, with a um, a very with with a script, um, and then that can be run e on the fly each time you run the report. Um, so you want to make sure that this CSV file um, doesn't have any junk in it, like the left margin. Um, you want a total only. You don't want a total by like month or week or anything. Um, you want to set the date range. Um, you don't need any headers or footers or anything like that. The company name. Um, you just you literally want a, a basic um, CSV file, um, and so then after you get the the basic file you need, you want to memorize that report um, and then save it as something like this is going to be transaction detail export CSV file, and so then that way you don't need to do this every time. Then it's just it's literally you open the report and then you um, export it as a CSV. And so I'm just going to click on um, Excel and then create new CSV file and then I'll export it. Um, and then I'll export it to a specific directory um, and we'll just name that something like transactions.csv and that becomes our source data. St uh, stay tuned to the next videos to show the next steps to um, continue to build out a custom QuickBooks report.